Recently, I got a message from a pedal builder from the Pacific Northwest, where I'm from, asking if I'd like to check out some of his pedals, and I'm so glad he reached out. The company is Bolt and Forge Analog Audio, and he sent me their Appaloosa and Ole Ephraim to demo for you all, so let's get into it. Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and I hope you can forgive yourself for the mistakes you made today, because I am sure they're nothing compared to, uh, Mistakes I made today. <laughs> uh, long story short, it's not the first time I'm filming this demo, but uh, it did give me some more time to check out these pedals. The Appaloosa is a germanium overdrive. It's a low to medium gain overdrive, which is kind of my favorite flavor because I do prefer gain staging uh, versus having like just a really, <laughs> really high dirt pedal, um, especially in terms of overdrives. I feel like low to medium is my personal sweet spot. And this prides itself in having an amp-like response, an amp-like approach to gain staging. Uh, and we'll talk about that shortly. Uh, we also have the old Ephraim, which is a germanium sustainer. We'll talk about that when we get there. We're gonna start with the Appaloosa. I'm gonna turn it off. And uh, I have my Ventera 2 Series Jazzmaster and the Benson Chimera plugin from Mixwave. I'm gonna turn up the volume. And I'm gonna start with everything except for boost at noon. So it's not fully transparent to my ear, but it's also not coloring the tone a lot, which I do like. I pick the amp I play because I like the way it sounds. I don't necessarily want something that's going to change the amp character that much. <laughs> That's a great low gain overdrive sound. We also have some tone controls. If we crank the bass, it will literally shake the room I'm in. You can cut the bass to get some more mids. Or I should say more mid forward sound. We can crank the treble as well, because why not? I'm gonna turn up the treble just a little bit, but not all the way. And I'm not gonna turn the treble down um, right now. I'm gonna crank the gain though. the gain. It can be like a little itty bitty boost, but nobody's gonna use that pedal that way. Get the gain to three. Start to blend in some of that boost, or a lot of it. Now, pretty much everything except for the EQ, which is a little bit of a bass cut, a little bit of a high boost. Pretty solidly in medium gain territory now. I think it sounds really nice. Really natural sound. Let's just go ahead and crank everything for fun, eh? Thank you. 
Yeah, I really like this overdrive and I can see putting it on uh, my board for whenever I need just like a little bit of overdrive. Just get me to that point of barely not clean. So uh, yeah, uh, the other thing I want to talk about before I get into the Olaferum is I want to talk about the build on these pedals. They, they are very attractive. They're all very clearly themed in a, a similar way. The gold enclosure here. And then they have the plates that have all the information on them, which I think is a really smart way to, to do things. Um, even on the front, it has a little Bolton Forge analog audio plate. So you can tell just a ton of thought went into the design of these. They also have these buttons on them that are kind of like barefoot buttons. And the action of the foot switch itself is somewhere between a, you know, the normal hard click click switch because you can feel that click, you, you have that, um, that signal that you did indeed engage your switch without having to rely on the light, which most people are like, people have strong feelings about foot switches. I think these are really interesting and I like them. I've not used foot switches quite like this before, um, but I like the barefoot button-esque aspect of it. Yeah, I just think it's a very thoughtful pedal, frankly. But let's get into the old Ephraim. This is kind of like a fuzz meets a drive pedal. So it doesn't get as gainy as fuzzy, but it has that germanium fuzz character the whole time. In fact, I'm gonna start with a sustain pretty low. This pedal also has a lot more volume on tap um, than the Appaloosa. <laughs> sound like a fuzz does it it's a sustainer turn up the sustain knob website says imagine like a small tube amp crank to 10 with like it's like barely hanging in there it's a really cool sound <laughs> let's hear how it pairs with this uh germanium overdrive <laughs> To me, it reminds me of like this, it has this cocked wah sound going on. I think that's super cool. Let's turn it all the way up. Yeah. 
Uh, I hope my neighbor's babies weren't napping. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, so let's get some thoughts in on the Bolt and Forge analog audio pedals. I honestly think they're great. I, I think the fuzz sustainer, the Germanium fuzz sustainer, Olaf from is really, really cool and unique. It's just such a great vibe and sound. I love that it has that energy of a fuzz for lack of a better word, but it, it doesn't get too, too fuzzy. And that makes it really special to me. And the Germanium overdrive, I just think it's a great overdrive. I just don't think there are enough there's not enough hype about those low low gain stage overdrives low to medium and i just think that it's a really good pedal so check them out they're a small builder so i'll have a link in the video description thank you again to them for sending these two guys out to me um everybody else out there there are affiliate links to other places like sweetwater and reverb.com and even Amazon. If you're doing any holiday shopping, please consider using those links. It's a great way to support the channel doing things you were going to do anyway, buying things you were going to buy anyway. Um, we have merch at getoffsetpodcast.com slash shop. We have a Patreon at patreon.com slash getoffset for as little as $5 a month. You get access to our exclusive Discord server. Whoa, I sound like the end of a pharmaceutical commercial. <laughs> Everybody out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.